Hello, we are welcome. How to find the square root of 111556 without the use of a calculator? So, what we are going to do is to copy out this number. We have 111556, and this equals, we can write it as 111000 plus 556. And we can further write this as 111 times 1000 because we have three zeros here. Then we have plus. Here, instead of 556, we can have it as 555 five, five plus 1. So the next thing is, instead of this 1000 here, we can have it as 999 plus 1. So we have this equals 111. Then we have times 999 plus 1. And we have plus, instead of this, we can factor out 5 from here. We have 5 times 111 plus 1. So if you notice, we also have triple nine here. We can factor out the nine. That means we are going to have one, one, one. Let's make use of square bracket times nine times one, one, one plus one. Then we have plus five times one, one, one plus one. So the next thing we are going to do is we can say let x equals one, one, one. Let's reduce this whole expression. So we are going to have x times 9 times x plus 1. Let's make use of square bracket. Then we have plus 5 times x plus 1. So from here, we are going to have x times 9x plus 1, then we have plus 5x plus 1. So the next thing is for us to multiply out everything here. We are going to have 9x squared plus x plus 5x plus 1. So this will give us 9x squared plus 6x plus 1. Now the next thing we are going to do is we can further reduce this by having instead of this 9 or instead of this 9x squared we can have it as 3x or power 2 because 3 power 2 is 9 and x power 2 is x squared. So we have plus instead of this 6x we can have it as 2 times 3x then we have plus 1. So we can still have this as 30x squared plus 2 times 3x times 1. If you multiply this by 1, you have the same thing plus 1 power 2. So 1 power 2 is the same thing as 1. So at this point, we can say again, let a equals 3x. So if a equals 3x, we are going to have a squared plus 2a plus 1. So at this point, this expression is in the form of a plus 1 raised to the power of 2. Because if you expand this, you will definitely get this again. So that means if we substitute our a, which is 3x for a here, we are going to have 3x plus 1 raised to the power of 2. So therefore, if you get back to the original problem, that means 111556 equals what we have just written down here. So we can have it as 111556 equals 3x plus 1 raised to the power of 2. Now remember, we have to find the square root of this. So that means we also need to include the square root. So the square root here will cancel the square here. That means we are only going to be left with 
3x plus 1. And what was the value of our x if we get back there? Our x equals 1, 1, 1. So we are going to insert that for x right here. And we are going to have the square root of 1, 1, 1, 5, 5, 6 equals 3 times 1, 1, 1 plus 1. And this equals 3 times 1, 1, 1 equals 3, 3, 3 plus 1. And everything here we are going to have this equals 3, 3, 4. And this is our final answer for the square root of 1, 1, 1, 5, 5, 6. And that is the end of the video. I believe you enjoyed the class. Please don't forget to subscribe, share this video to your friends, and drop a comment if you enjoyed it. Thank you and goodbye.